and they're away in the Valencia half marathon Trinidad Alonso EDP well, we're looking at pace around 13 45 for five kilometers the first kilometers on this course are traditionally quite quick so if they're just ahead of that pace don't be surprised just a very slight incline as they come up the bridge before setting off north into the old port area men and women starting together in this race and it's already picking up very sharply we'll see three pacemakers at the front trio of Kenyans Bravin Kipkoskai Solomon Kiplimo and Timothy Kibet they've been employed to really pick up the pace 13.45 is the target time for 5k, 27.30. That brings them bang on world record pace. That's 58 minute pace. Just remember, a half marathon isn't just 21 kilometers, it's 21.0975. People often forget that. I've seen so many television programs where they've actually just worked off 21 kilometers without tacking on those extra, let's just say, 15 or 16 seconds. Well, the pace is off to the left-hand side of the road, the right-hand side of your screen. At the front is the world champion from seven weeks ago, Jacob Ch Kiplimo from Uganda, wearing the orange vest. He'll be easy to spot. Already the groups are starting to separate. Dorcas to attack Kenyon has a best of 63.33. Well, the pace is doing their job, I hope. Should see when we go through the first kilometer point. Looking for 245 kilometers, so we're not far away from actually going through that first kilometer, and we can hopefully assess how quick they're going. As long as they stick to their pace, it's up to the rest of the field to chase them and stay with them and utilize their pace, and it does make so much of a difference. Well, they're quick. I mean, they've just gone through the one kilometer point in, I make it unofficially around 2.42. Decent pace making at this stage. In the blue vest, it's Timothy Kibet. And alongside in Bravin Kipkoskai. Out on the far left hand side of your screen, Bernard Engeno. now <laughs> well it's already separated quite a lot of the runners in this very big field and the outside there's the third pacemaker Solomon Kiplimo towing a group as Kipkoskai and Kibet drift over to the left hand side of the road to he took hurtling away at this stage in the field is the defending champion Sefare Sen Sembere Tefare I should say getting I do owe her my apologies getting her name slightly mangled Ethiopian uh, I've got no excuse I've seen a lot of her over the years she was the 2015 World Championship 5,000 meter silver medalist, same year that she actually got a silver medal at the World Cross Country Championships. And I've commentated on a few of her races in her time. Oh, I make 
that's a leading group of about 12 men, including the three pacers. So we've already had a number of the elite men already detached. You can just see there that uh, the group's slightly splintered. We've, of course, got good Spanish representation in both these half marathon fields. Seven Spaniards in the men's race and four in the women's. We're not being held terribly much by the clock in the lower right-hand corner. in the race unfold at this stage. Ah, thank you very much indeed. We've got a little bit difficult. I've got my own watch on it, but uh, I do like to actually work off the offici official timings. So we look for about uh, eight... If 8 minutes 15 seconds through the 3 kilometer point This is about 2.5 kilometers at the moment Still plenty of running in this race uh, There's a switch back to the Women's race, you can see the back there of Dorcas Tuek. Well, the pacers, Kipkoska and Kibet, have been. Sticking to their task, but they've built up a bit of a gap. I would have been expecting perhaps the leading group to have stuck slightly closer to them. into the third kilometer now. So very shortly we'll be taking a fairly sharp left-hand turn and as we head westward into the city center that comes at about three and a half kilometers. This course has been smoothed out a little bit since the World Half Marathon Championships. A few of the sharper turns have been taken out of it. That's that westward turn. Tucked in there, we can see in the blue vest, just uh, starting to appear from behind the pacer. Ronatsky Pruto, also 
very fine record on the track despite his young years just 19 years of age the man in the blue vest there with Ronax on his bib in addition to those world records on the road here back in January took the silver medal in the 10,000 meters at the World Athletics Championships last October in Doha Kiplimo well then they should be looking comfortable at this stage haven't even gone four kilometers into the race Just tucked in behind Kipruto is Matiso, Alexander Matiso from Kenya. Another one of the 11 men who've run under an hour in their careers in this race. Matiso wearing that green and blue bib on the left hand side of your screen now. The one has just come up. They're pretty much on pace at the moment. They just went through four kilometers in just a few seconds outside 11 minutes. So that does put them very nicely on 58 kilometer, 58 minute pace for this race. Eight minutes well astonishing time they were to get a world record on this course world record setter would pick up an additional 70,000 euros so this could be a very very profitable day out for some of these men but well, it's looking as though one of the pacemakers is already starting to struggle to keep to his allotted task Solomon Kiplimo drifting back but Kip Koskai in the blue vest. Sorry, it's Kibet in the black vest. There. Kibet and Kip Koskai doing a good job at the front. As you can see, well, a group of four is starting to get separated off the back of this group of leaders. And that group of four includes Julian Wanders. Well, speaking with Wonders the other day, he's not actually looking for a super fast time here. He's saying this is really much a race on the road to Tokyo, where he'll take on the marathon at the World Championships. Well, very shortly we'll be passing the five kilometre point. Let's keep our eyes open for that. 13.45 is the time we should be looking for. So I make it now just seven men in that leading pack. So we've got two Kip Limos. We've got Jacob Kip Limo, the world champion over this distance in the orange vest also in there with P. Kiplino Philemon Kiplimo Kenyon with another fine time to his name right just keeping our eye open somewhere around here we should be seeing a five kilometer marker didn't see it earlier so I'm just wondering whether they've just slowed very slightly on this incline Well, let's just assume that they've passed it for now. Tucked away and a little bit obscured. Well, I can tell you that uh, they did pass. There we go. 13.37, so it is world record pace at this moment. Also in there, we haven't really talked about him. Kibiwak Candy, well, he's the world leader at the moment with the 58.37 that he ran in Prague back in September. He's really clocked a fantastic series of 
races. There we see Candy, the slightly taller Kenyan in the all-black apparel, apart from those uh, greenish-yellow shoes that everybody's wearing these days. Candy, well, he won in Ras Al Kamara at the start of the year. That was a sub-59 minute time itself. Won in Prague in 58.37. Second was beaten out by Jacob Kiplimo in the World Half Marathon Championship. So this is his fourth half marathon this year. All three of his half marathons, though, under 59 minutes. Well, it's now a lot clearer. We have the pacer, Timothy Kibet, forging away, really doing a fine job at the front there. And six men behind him. Two files of three men apiece down the road. Those six men, Jacob Kiplimo, Ronatz Kipruto, Philemon Kiplino, Kibiwok Candy. Just trying to identify the two men at the back. Mutiso, also of Kenya, working hard at the back. Big group of women now, they've come up to join Dorcas to a tech. Back of that group was then Bebe Tefare, rest of the group, mainly the Kenyans. There's Tefare at the front there, she's moved through. Nice split screen effect. went through five kilometers in 1522 so very quick time for the women as well thirty six with the back to us is <laughs> Sheila Chepkodui back with the men's race now I think the timing system is having a few problems differentiating between the half marathon and the marathon. I'll give them a pass on that. The marathon, of course, will be a two lap course over the same course, and they're going to be getting underway in just about 11 minutes' time. Just to come down a very long straight going north to south. This is just a brief turn. We should be passing the seven kilometer mark very shortly. And then we head northwest into the old center of Valencia alongside the Torreya riverbed. Well, the Taria River used to flow through the center of Valencia. Then there was devastating floods back in 1957. The river was drained. There you can see it just on the wide shot on your right-hand side of your screen. And now it's the, uh, it's the green lung of Valencia, as they like to call it. And it's where many, many of the runners go in the evenings or at the weekends and there's the Toria 
five kilometer circuit a very very popular circuit used more than 65,000 times a month so I'm told it's uh, one of those areas where you can run 365 days a year so still six men in that leading group behind the pacemaker Timothy Kibet and it's Kiplimo in the orange vest on the right hand side of your screen the world champion Ronatz Kipruto in the blue the light blue vest on the left hand side of your screen Candy Philemon Kiplimo they're immediately behind the two leaders starting to struggle in that second group this is a group that's now starting to look as though going under one hour might be a good time for them numbers 25 and 26 well they're pacemakers they're the pacemakers who've dropped back they were Solomon Kiblimo should say I've been calling the pacemaker at the leading group Timothy Kibet is in fact Bravin Kipkoskai it's Kibet who's leading the second group along with Solomon Kiplimo Just gone through eight kilometers now. This is a very, very slight incline here. The man who we haven't talked about much, who's in there as well, is Kelvin Kiptum. group of five Kenyans and one Ugandan behind the pacemaker well, Kelvin Kipton who I just mentioned having a very good run indeed has a personal best just inside the hour at 59.53 on course for a very good personal best if he can keep up this sort of tempo of course still a very long way to go we haven't even reached the halfway point in this race well Valencia particularly in the newer parts of the city sweeping wide boulevards great for running and perfect for this sort of road race Valencia Half Marathon, Trinidad Alonso, EDP. There you go. Nice aerial shot. That's where we all started. And uh, in about six minutes' time, the gun will go on the full marathon. But we're back at the half marathon now. Still ticking over pretty rapidly at a very, very good pace indeed. And Bravin Kipkoskai doing an admirable job at the front. doesn't look as it looks quite steep but I can assure you it isn't steep just a very very gentle incline so from left to right as you're looking at them there's 
Ronax Kipkoskai, Alexander Motiso at the front, Jacob Kiplimo, and also in there, Philemon Kiplimo and Kelvin Kipton. I did my work on the statistics yesterday, and we've had three races in the history of half marathon running which have had three men under 59 minutes. I'm just wondering whether we might just crack that little statistic. We might get more men under 59 minutes at the moment. It's looking good. The women, well. There's a male pacemaker at front. And then a group of, well, it's uh, motorbikes trying to catch up with them. Group of four women. We've got Senbere Tefari, the defending champion here in Valencia. She's number 31. 36 is Sheila Chepkarui. 33, well, it's her first race of the year, and she's never run further than five kilometers on the road. Also in there was Gensebi de Barba, the 1500 meters world champion. And the early leader, Dorcas Tuoek, was also in there. So there's a glance back at the leading Spaniards who are being helped along. You can see Carlos Mayo there. Number 15, well, the near veteran Javi Guerrera. Twice fourth in European Championships marathons. Mayo, well, we're looking to see what he can do. They're not on course just yet for under. Let's just switch back though. That 27.30, absolutely bang on 58 minute pace for the half marathon. That's an unofficial time. Hopefully we'll get a leaderboard up at any moment now. These men a little bit further back. These are the leading Spaniards, Guerrero and Mayo. Mayo, of course, well, he really made his name as a cross-country runner, and by his own admission, that's his preferred surface. Well, this is going to start turning into a very, very exciting race. Six men, and really... The pacemaker has done a fantastic job so far, but he's left the course now, and it's up to the six men in this group now to make sure that uh, the pace stays pretty rapid. As I said, there's some very, very significant financial inducements. It's looking as though they are going to be coming home in under that benchmark of 58.45, so 35,000 euros to the winner. 25,000, 15,000 for second and third. As we switch our attention, you can see there the runners in the marathon just getting ready. Well, historically, this has been one of the fastest marathons in the world. No less than 211 people on the start line, all jam packed into the Monte Olivete Bridge. This is the 40th edition of the Valencia Marathon, Trinidad Alfonso. Trinidad Alfonso, the foundation that provides a lot of the finances for this race. Also very, very much involved in the society here in Valencia. Alfonso. Well, it started out thanks to a photograph of the uh, 
Valencia Marathon in 2011, which uh, caught the imagination of the president of the foundation, Juan Roach. Ever since then, they've put in a lot of money into driving projects with the aim of really just spreading culture, let's just say, <laughs> through sport and positioning this city and the region at large as a focus for sport. As you can see, no spectators, some organizers, some volunteers on the bridge as we sweep away. It's an elite only race. look at the marathon some of the sites were well it's on the same course as the half marathon so they'll be very familiar to you course record was set last year by Kinde Atenor at two hours three minutes and 51 seconds Atenor in this race defending his title also defending her title Rosa Dereje. The last two years it's been Ethiopians who've taken both the men's and the women's crowns here in Valencia. Over the years though it's been the Kenyans that have dominated. Kenyan runners have won 17 times out of the 40 occasions in the men's race. Now switching back as well. Nice split screen as we're watching the half marathon. Probably stick, pay some more attention to the half marathon at this stage because it looks as though we are on for some very, very fast times indeed in the half marathon. And we got bags of time to let the marathon develop. Men's marathon, well, the pacemakers have been set the task of reaching the halfway point in 61.30, which obviously would bring them well under a course record. Got the winners for the last two years in the marathon. Still six men in there. It's looking as though Kelvin Kipton struggling a little bit. The Kenyan in sixth place at the moment, starting to drift off the back of that leading group. Still being driven by Jacob Kip Limo. Perhaps the slight surprise in winning the World Half Marathon just seven weeks ago in Poland. We were expecting something spectacular from his compatriot, Joshua Czeptogai, who set a world record on the track over 10,000 metres here in Valencia just a few weeks prior to that. Ronatz Kipruto didn't run in Poland, making his half marathon debut here. And Kibiwat Kande, the tall Kenyan tracking Kiblimo. Another Kiblimo in there. And uh, Jacob Kiblimo hails from Uganda. Philemon Kiblimo, just the other side of the Rift Valley, comes from Kenya. Uh, it looks like the male pacemakers departed the women's race and we're down to just four women in the women's race at the moment hanging on to the back Genzebi de Barba but considering she's never run further than five kilometers competitively she's doing very very well at this pace also in there Tafare Tuwek and Sheila Chepkarui having a very, very good race indeed. Weren't necessarily expecting Chepkarui to be up there mixing it with the likes of Tafari, but she's there. Well, the women. Went through 10 kilometers in 34.39.
still these men forging ahead another 22 and a half minutes of running still perhaps a little more perhaps a little bit less but really this is starting to become an absolutely terrific race I think at this point we can really start thinking about very very fast times it's not just a question of getting through the first 10 kilometers now they're well about 13 kilometers into the race another eight to go what can they in there the perhaps the tallest of that group of five and you can just see him just jutting out and dart, then darting back into the group he's on the right hand side of your screen give you what candy won the Prague half marathon back in September in a world leading 58 38 Kip Limo the second fastest time of the year when he won in the world half marathon championships there's the leading women once again Chep Karui at the back. Single file for the women. The men spread all over the road. Nice picture there of the five main protagonists. Well, 27 25, the 10k split. That was even fractionally faster than I had it at at 27 30. So they're well inside. 58 minute pace at the moment. the lead group and then a long long way back to Brenda Jepleting in fifth place so two Ethiopians two Kenyans in that leading group at the moment Emily Sisson well she's gonna have to pick up the pace she's there or thereabouts on US record pace it's always hard running your own race she's detached and solitary whereas the four women at the front have got company so we're just coming up to the 14 kilometer mark for the leading men so you could say we're two-thirds of the way into this race there's Mayo leading Spaniard on the right hand side of your screen Mayo probably got not going to go under the hour but certainly going to have a very fine run indeed Still on the left hand side of your screen, five main protagonists in this absolutely terrific, wonderfully competitive Valencia half marathon, Trinidad Alfonso EDP. Well, the way things are looking at the moment, we could be looking at something in the lower halves of the 58 minutes, perhaps even a world record. Let's not get too much ahead of ourselves but once again let's just say this is also going to really boil up into an absolute terrific battle between these five over this final well it's now less than seven kilometers to go Matiso without doubt having the race of his life well Matiso has a best of 5909 good quality runner without a doubt but really he's absolutely flying Matiso well has one win to his name this year one in Santa Pola back in January has managed to actually have quite a decent number of races on the track also finished second in the Rasal Kamaya race won by Kiwi Kande so 
Matisse, really an emerging name in this event. And here's Kimi Watkandi now, who's moved to the front really for the first time in this race. Uh, it looks like the marathon has just really become a pack of six already. Heading out at that 61.30 pace. Don't need to be a great mathematician to work out that that would bring you home in around 63 minutes. But as we know, marathons in this day and age often are the very, very top marathons are one with negative splits. Faster second halves rather than first halves. Just gone through 15 kilometers there in almost bang on 41 minutes. So six kilometers and change remaining. It's still operating at sub 58 minute pace. And Kibiwok Kande, well, really starting to push the pace now, testing the metal of the men behind him. Ronats Kipruto still looking very, very relaxed. So too is Jacob Kiplimo. Alexander Matisso, perhaps a little bit more strained. And, well, Philemon Kiblimo, somewhat more ragged running style compared to the more fluid movers in front of him, but still very much in there. 41.10 at 15 kilometers. Well, uh, 2018, when Jamal Yima set the course record, that was 41.37. And even pace for 58 minutes is 41.15. So they're operating inside world record pace at the moment. Just remember, we've got five men in contention here with a little more than six, a little more than five and a half kilometers to go. Well... Philemon Kiblimo looking as though he's struggling, but it's still hanging on there. The man who looks most relaxed is Ronatz Kipruto. He knows his way around the roads in Valencia, as I said, because he won the Valencia 10 kilometer race here back in January in a world record time. Took that race in 26 24. Also set fairly short-lived five kilometer race as part of that outing five kilometer world record well the women just going through 14 kilometers still that group of four it looks like we haven't lost anyone so it's still Tefare Dibaba from Ethiopia Chep Karui and Tuarek of Kenya That's interesting. Kip Limo, I think, just said something to Matiso there, perhaps suggesting that he helps out with the pace a little bit. Almost exactly five kilometers to go now. So under 14 minutes of running. Chep Karui. Well, looking as though she might just be struggling a little bit, and, well, Dibaba, she's going very much into unknown territory here. Up front, it's Tuoek who's really pushing the pace now. We're coming up to 15 kilometers. Last year when Tafara set the course record, she went through 15 kilometers in 46.16. So that's a time to keep your eye on. We're looking at Mayo, but with the greatest respect, the attention really is on the front of this race. We've got five men who are operating inside world record pace. 
as we're in the old part of the city now. So we've passed through some of the more winding sites. We've passed the likes of the Valencia Cathedral. And we've got a couple of little turns and then we head for a long two kilometer straight to the finish. This is the area where they're protected from the breeze. There's a bit of a breeze that hits them over down the main straight towards the finish, though. Look at that wonderful architecture, much of it dating from the 16th and 17th century that's still here in the centre of Valencia. Not too damaged by the ravages of the Civil War. Got a huge expansion though during the uh, modern period in the last 35, 40 years. Well, the men, here you can see big group at the front. 1441, pretty good time at the moment. Defending champion Bahanu Legese, fourth on the all time list. Legese, the winner last year. Men in front that you're seeing there, well, they're mainly the pacemakers. Lawrence Chirono is in there, you can see. Chirono, the defending Chicago and Boston champion. Abul Kip Karui also saw there on the outside of your screen. Outside left flank Kirui two-time world champion at the marathon perhaps with the greatest respect past his best now but he's still hanging on in there at this stage and hanging on in five men at the front well candy still working so so hard Ronan's Kipruto really has just tracked his every move Bruto hasn't really done much work at the front. That's been mainly Candy and to a certain extent Kiplimo. Philemon Kiplino at the back now starting to struggle. But Alexander Matiso. Well, Matiso, we didn't have him down as possibly one of the favourites, but he's really confounded our expectations. Well, at the front, it looks like the two Ethiopians. Um, take that back, it's uh, it's Tafare. Well, we're switching images quite quickly there, and we've gone back to Carlos Mayo. I'll bring your attention, though, to what's happening in the men's race on the left-hand side of your screen, though. Kibi Candy is really surging and forging ahead here, pushing hard. Mayo having a good run without a doubt. Mayo a long way back at this stage. Uh, just ease back. He just tested them. Give you what candy. In many respects, he's so far been the best road runner in the world this year. <laughs> Those three sub 59 minute clockings. Yes, he was beaten in the World Half Marathon Championships, but had two great runs before that. And he's looking as though he's having another terrific run. So 18 kilometers, we're slightly ahead on the leading men. So just three kilometers to go now. And it's Candy, followed by Ronex Kipruto, the very talented teenage Kenyan. Jacob Ch Kiplimo, just wondering if he's starting to feel a little bit of that. Well, just as I say that, I was going to say I was wondering whether he was tired after his world championship win. Candy also in that race, finishing second, but 
Kiblimo comes round the back of Kipruto. Starting to lose Mutiso now. He's about five metres further back. But it's Candy. Candy, look at that steely expression on his face. Candy now once again surging and pushing and testing. Kip Limo looking around, glancing over his left shoulder to see what's going on with Kip Ruto. Well, Kip Limo now about four or five metres back on Candy, who's quite visibly surging once again. Let's see what, where we're at when we go back past 19 kilometres. We're just starting to turn into the long straight into the finish line. So we've got just over two kilometres and it's basically straight down the road. Like those arrows on the asphalt. Well, Kilimo working hard now. I think we've seen the last of Kipruto and Motiso as far as this battle for victory is concerned. They're still going to run absolutely fantastic times. Just keeping my eyes open now to see whether we've got a 19 kilometer marker. Well, I still make them well inside world record pace. At the moment, they're at about 57.50 pace with less than two kilometers to go. In the women's race, there's looking as though there's been some moves in the last kilometer. Well, we've seen the male pacemaker drop out. It's Dorcas Tuitok, who's still doing a fine job, and just tracking her is, well, Kinsabi de Barber. That was a surprise. Well, Kitlumo seems to be slowly reeling in Candy, and suddenly Candy starts to look just a little bit tired. And he's starting to grimace. And Kitlumo. Just such a fluid runner. Well, I make it that they're well inside world record pace at the moment. If they pass 20 kilometers inside 55 minutes, the world record is definitely on. I think it's already on, let's be honest. So now Genzebi de Barba, fantastic job at the front. I have to say I've been confusing it a little bit because I thought for a while that I was Dorcas Tuatek, but it looks like one of the male pacemakers is still in the race. I know there's some debate about how far male pacemakers should take women. Delhi half marathon last week when we saw an absolutely fantastic time. Male pacemaker stayed in until about 19 kilometers. Well, just switching over, it is without doubt well, well, well inside world record pace here. And it's going to be a battle between Kibiwat Candy in the black vest and the orange vest of the world champion, Jacob Kiplimo. Ronets Kipruto having a fantastic debut, but getting detached here. Bit further down the road is Alexander Matiso. But it's between these two men now as we enter the final kilometer. Kip Limo darting across the road. He's not quite sure what he's doing there. Well, we saw the 20 kilometer marker, which was passed in about 54.45. So they're about 15 seconds inside world record pace here. And they're in for some serious money as well world record bonus under 58 minutes 
is a hundred thousand euros in addition to the first prize of 35,000 euros there's a lot at stake here well there's a overhead view of the city Uh, it looks as though the leading women have passed one of the Spaniards. 54-42, the official split at 20 kilometers. They are definitely about 15 seconds inside world record pace. So Nacho Jimenez looking over his shoulder and seeing the leading women behind him. So here's the two leaders, and this is going to be a battle for not just supremacy at this race, but the world record and a very, very big check indeed. Kibiwat Candy now surging once again, pushing hard. Jacob Kiplimo tracking his every move. What of these two men? They battled for victory at the World Half Marathon Championship seven weeks ago. On that occasion, it was Kiplimo who triumphed. Candy second on that occasion at the moment, now surging again. Long, long way down the road. It's Ronas Kipruto having an absolutely terrific debut, but he's back in third. But it's looking as though Candy has a change of gear. He's pulling away now from Kip Limo. This is absolutely going to smash the world record out of sight. That world record from Copenhagen 2019 by Jeffrey Kamwaror. Just keep your eye on the clock. 58. 01 and Kibiwat Candy now coming into the finish line. Kip Limo's got nothing left. 100 meters to go. It is going to be a world record. You can see it on the tape. Kibiwat Candy unofficially 57 32. A world record for the Kenyan taking a stunning. 29 seconds off the world record. Absolutely magnificent. Well, there's only a small crowd here to witness it in person, but they're absolutely going as wild as they can. The music has been turned up to ear deafening decibels. Kibiwat Candy, not just the Valencia Half Marathon Trinidad Alfonso EDP winner, but now the world record holder as well. Well, we're still awaiting official confirmation. That's going to happen. But I don't think it's going to change from 51, so I should say 57, 32. And hey, if we get a second or two, well, he's still the world record holder. Absolutely stunning performance. Not getting much of a reaction from Candy, but he has to be a candidate for the world's number one road runner this year world record well valencia has been a city of world records on almost every single surface so give you what candy with the race organizer paco Baray just stepping to one side and carlos mayo getting in shot thank you mr mayo let's focus our attention on give what candy and deservedly so once it's confirmed 57-32, what a terrific performance, without a doubt. I wonder what he's going to do with that uh, £135,000. Well, just look at that. Five men, I should say just four men inside.